a mathematician, I can fantasize that someone will prove a theorem that we have free will or that we don't, or that someone will prove a theorem that we have consciousness or we don't, but we're a long way from that. But Gödel proved a theorem with such deep philosophical consequences that 80 years later we're still discussing where does this leave mathematics, where does this leave certainty, where does this leave pure reason. Yeah. So, so as a pure mathematician, I think that's splendid, and I would like us upset? to do the same with other deep philosophical questions, except I have oh. the clue how. But yeah. does it upset you as a mathematician? Yes, it does. I, <laughs> it upsets me. That, that that's, it can't be done. That's why, that's why I'd like to see a theorem proving the Darwinian evolution works so that it doesn't, because it's so basic, and there ought to be a nice little theorem. But it's showing really, that it works. Otherwise, we're not doing our job. It's really, it was only, I mean, mathema mathematicians usually prove theorems that only have to do with mathematics. It's very, it's not, it's not pure mathematics, you know, a, a rigorous. But look at Gödel. Yeah. Gödel and Turing are really the only two that did this, that proved mathematical theorems that spill out into philosophy. Well, let's and, keep and it beyond. up. We have their good example. <laughs> <laughs> so let's not stop there. So, so I, I'm not sure why, why Gregory is upset, uh, to be honest. Because I'm not upset. The fact that, uh, because the Gödel's incompleteness theorems showed us limitation of mathematics within mathematics. Uh, Gödel's incompleteness theorems did not stop physicists from continuing to apply mathematics to the, explain the universe. In fact, uh, just but about... But did it make them feel uncomfortable? <clears throat> Does no, it make them feel not at can, all. Can I not disagree with Mary So Mary's why is that? Here? Why does it not it, make them it, feel it, uncomfortable? It, it, well, it's because it, it demonstrated more the shortcomings of formal systems. Exactly. Not of not, mathematics. Not of mathematics yes. as a whole, necessarily. Right. Of formal systems. Yeah. It's like, you, you, you may remember but that that's supposedly what mathematics is, according to the current uh, fashion. Okay. And that's you, what he showed was wrong. You, you, right. you remember but that... But then what is pure mathematics? And nobody knows. You, you, you remember that in school, in school, uh, you know, Euclid and the people who, and Plato actually, uh, were crazy about proving everything with a straight edge and a compass. Anything you couldn't do with a straight edge and a compass was not considered right, you know, and so on. Until, you know, others came and said, wait a second, why do I need these chains on me? I can do things otherwise, you know, and so on. You're right? not bothered because you're a physicist. We mathematicians, some of us were bothered. And then we solve the problem no, the way I'm, people usually do. If you can't solve a problem, convince yourself that it's not important. Forget about it. <laughs> but wait, wait a second. I mean, Gödel, Gödel solved the problem. But the problem, the problem. that Gödel posed is, is still, is still on the, the table. Problem. What is pure mathematics? Hilbert said pure mathematics is a formal axiomatic system, which I'm going to discover, and that's it. And now we know exactly what it means. Something is true if I can prove it according to these rules. Gettle showed that won't work. You're right. So now where does that leave pure mathematics? I'll tell you. The answer is nobody knows. I'll tell you where it, I'll, I'll tell you where. You I'll, don't I'll, care because you're a physicist. No, no. <laughs> I'm, number one, I'm a theoretical <laughs> physicist. <laughs> Which means I use mathematics every day. Now, but, but here, listen. We know that we have a problem with the foundation of quantum mechanics. There are actually serious problems with the foundation of mechanics. Has that stopped physics from going on? The answer is no. Have, have Gödel's theorems stopped mathematics from going Wait on? The physics answer is no. Physics goes on as technology, but who cares about technology? The fundamental conceptual issues of the, the foundations of quantum mechanics are really terrible. And if you think, if you're interested in thinking and understanding the world, this is a serious problem. It now, is. if you're interested only in making transistors and making a billion dollars, you don't care. But if you want to understand how the world functions, it's important, that I, problem. I, I you're too make, practical. I don't make transistors. Gettle was not a practical guy. <laughs> Gettle was not interested in making money. My point is that uh, Gettle's theorem, theorems, in spite of the fact that, you know, certainly they are of huge import, they have actually not stopped the progress of mathematics either. And that's an not interesting question. Mm -hmm. How come?